Come on, Keith. She must be putting you on. I mean, look at what it says. I know what it says. Read it again. Read it out loud. I, I want to bask at every word. Dear Mr. Timmons, I can no longer withhold the evidence you seek with regard to the disappearance of Hal Clark. Please contact me as soon as possible to arrange a meeting for our mutual benefit. Sincerely, Pamela Conrad. Mutual benefit? I love the English language. Yeah, but what does she really mean? Oh, honey, I think it's obvious. Evidently, she finds out that Cece wants to make a deal and she wants to beat him at his own game. I don't like it, Keith. <sighs> honey, you should love it. Come on. I mean, what have we got here? Gadzooks. We have a, a embarrassment of riches, a cornucopia of crooked criminals. We have a smorgasbord of skullduggery and smarm. We have Keith, the sun Keith, and the moon Keith, and the morning. I get your drift. But don't you think it's a wild coincidence that both Cece and Pamela contact you a couple of hours away from each other? Great minds think alike. Well, I think they've got something cooking. And it smells like rat stew. A pungent metaphor, darling. I know they're up to something, but they want to save their own sweet necks. I mean, they'll do anything to see the other one twist slowly in the wind. As long as it's not you that takes the drop. Oh, well, your concern touches. But I have nothing to fear from Lord and Lady Macbeth because I have, as they say the bag of bones, and they will risk anything to save themselves. I still think it's a trap. I know, I know it is. But, um, I'm not the one who's going to get caught. <gasps>